for? Why did we come here? Traveler? Here, why are there two Dunyarzads? You already know that this isn't your first Sub Zero's festival, don't you? I'm sure you already know how to use this. A knowledge capsule? Where did you get it? What's inside? You should use it too, Paimon. Uh, you you know Paimon? Well, this seems kind of sketchy, but Hyman feels like this is what we should do. What the? This is our 20th time at the Sub Zero's festival? Huh? No. The 30th? 40th? Just how many times have we been to the Sub Zero's festival? Have we been trapped in a single day? If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have even realized. What the heck was inside that knowledge capsule? Hmm. Your memories are still scrambled? Try your best to remember. This isn't the first time we've met, and I answered that question a long time ago. Let Paimon think. Oh, it's coming back. Meeting you was the real catalyst for restoring our memories. And the knowledge capsule was just your means of showing our minds the way. Uh, what about everyone else? Why are you only helping the two of us? Your sense of deja vu is stronger than everyone else's, yes? As for an explanation, you two received the blessing of Dendro. And you also have special, sensitive constitutions. It was as if a single sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. A familiar question. I think this is the seventh time you asked that. As you can see, she isn't doing well. You probably sensed it too. The Dunyarzad you were just with is different from the first Dunyarzad you met. That first Dunyarzad is in front of you right now, and she doesn't have a lot of time left. <laughs> Looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. Oh yeah, I'm Nahida. Good, you passed the test. What's happening? You can awaken our memories? And you seem like you know what's going on! Oh, wait! Please don't tell Paimon even you don't know! Everything in this world runs in a loop. This cycle is called a samsara. You, me, and everyone else are all stuck inside a one-day samsara. As for the truth, that's on you to find out. If you were told the truth instead of discovering it yourselves, it would literally blow your minds. I don't know how you'd be after that. I can only give you surface level help, like bits of information and subtle hints. For the rest of the time, 
I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyarzad's illness. She looks like she isn't doing well at all! Her illness gets worse after each Sub-Zero's festival! If we can break out of the Samsara, I might be able to save her. But as things are right now, she is just a small bird in the sky that's about to lose its last feathers. All I can do is raise a gale to delay her fall. You sure love to use weird analogies. <laughs> analogies are wonderful tools. They let you use existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Okay, so, with what you know so far, what do you think the truth is? We've already experienced the sub zerus festival many times, and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. That doesn't sound right. I need to carefully think things through. That should be it. The flow of time is endlessly cycling within one single day. A time loop. You've given similarly wrong answers in the past. A pity. Still the wrong answer? Paimon thought that made a lot of sense. It feels like time's just repeating itself. A simple time loop can't explain some of the phenomena. You two are still missing a lot of information. Unfortunately, I can't give you any more hints. <coughs> Dunyarzad! The sub Festival is happening every day, but that doesn't mean we can waste an infinite amount of them. Hurry, and find the truth before today's festival ends. Let's think about our current situation. To save Dunyarzad, we have to escape the Samsara of the sub Festival. And to do that, we need to figure out what's happening. The truth. Nahida rejected the idea of a time loop, so we must have missed something, right? Paimon's memories say that we've already done this many times, but let's go talk to people again. It's more productive than sitting here and scratching our heads. Mm, why don't we start with those stall owners? Hey, it's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? She... Uh, she's feeling a little unwell. I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. I harvested them from the forest just yesterday. Huh? What brought this about? I hurried back from the forest yesterday, and I'm selling protos here today. I haven't felt anything strange. Hmm, um... To put it another way, if you really, really think about it, was yesterday truly yesterday? 
Did you actually come back from the forest yesterday? What kind of philosophical nonsense is this? Are you two daydreaming? Didn't you know that no one dreams in Sumeru? Go somewhere else if you want to find someone to daydream with. <laughs> has a point. Is this a dream? Is everyone dreaming? Hmm, true. It's so weird that people here don't dream. Why is that? Anyway, if this all really were just a dream, we would have woken up a long time ago. Hmm. Let's keep asking around. Oh, it's you two. Was my divination so accurate that you felt compelled to compliment me in person? Ooh, I knew it! I told you, the god's divination is highly accurate. You just hadn't fully understood its significance yet. <laughs> You're really excited about this, huh? That's exactly why we came back. Help us better understand it. Uh help you better understand it? W well <laughs> that isn't exactly what I excel at. So, you're admitting that you don't have a clue? Anyway, what kind of situation did you get into? Huh? Uh, hold on a second. I thought you guys just lost your wallet or, or fell for a scam. What you just said... Are you serious? Does that kind of thing actually happen in real life? Paimon knew you weren't going to believe it! Marvelous! Truly marvelous! I believe you. Recall the interpretation of your divination. The moon, illusions, and lies. It really felt like an omen. When you say it like that... The divination does sound like it's related to what's going on. Can you read any more into it? I believe that the Archon's revelations are never more than vague hints. Anything more specific is beyond the reach of mere mortals. The book only says, If you trust your instincts and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. So that's how it is. Looks like fortune-telling is just fortune-telling. It's no good for practical problems. We haven't made any progress. Who else can we talk to? Hmm, Paima remembers that we tried talking to her a couple of times, but she always thinks we're playing pranks on her. You think she'll brush us off again? Yeah. If we tap into Dia's strong sense of responsibility as a mercenary, then she'll definitely take us seriously. Hmm, at this time of day, Dia's probably just finished beating up those kidnappers. Let's go find her! I'm fine, my lady. It's just a scratch. Perfect timing! Both of you are here! Paimon, Traveler, you came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous ga- Huh? You saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? If someone was protecting Miss Dunyar's odd, I could've went all out. <sighs> anyway, can you do something for me? You want the Traveler to take Dunyar's odd somewhere to rest up while you check to see if there's still any kidnappers around. Did Paimon get that right? How did you know what I was going to say? We need to say something convincing. Dia sold her greatsword to raise additional funds. And then she was injured because she wasn't used to her new weapon. Tell her, Traveler! <sighs> I didn't tell anyone about that. Including Miss Dunyarzad, you couldn't have known. And just now, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. What's going on? 
All right, so this is the situation. <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear. Most of us desert dwellers might not be the scholarly type, but we do have basic common sense. She's quieter than usual. Uninterested in anything and really gloomy. Yeah, she isn't the same as before, but her parents said that this is how she was like at first. Huh? At first? I don't quite understand what you're all talking about. I'll go rest on the bench over there. My lady, are you angry? All right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt since you knew about my greatsword. Let's make this a quick trip. Miss Dunyarzad isn't completely safe here. I told you that it won't help to bring anyone here. We just wanted her to see the real Dunyarzad's condition. The real Dunyarzad? Uh, where and who are you talking to? Huh? Uh, I told you that you two are special. Other people can't see me or Miss Dunyarzad here. Hold on. Over there. Is that? Wow. How perceptive. Does she have invisible antennae? Miss Dunyarzad, she's... she's lying down here, isn't she? How's she doing? Her condition's really bad, and she's basically in a coma. How did you know she was here? I... can sense her aura. I... There are also lingering feelings of something like regret or disappointment. What happened? Do you believe us now? The Subzero's festival has been repeating itself. So, you think the sages are behind this? Yeah, they've always been against us. Wouldn't surprise me if they're using the Akasha to intentionally repeat the Subzerus festival as a sick joke. Hmm. You have a point. Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Academia Sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know. Right! Didn't you awaken our memories using something that looked like a knowledge capsule? That means you must know something about the Akasha! The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. A Gnosis could do that? No wonder the Akasha is so magical! It's being powered by the Gnosis of Sumeru's Archon! So, uh, this Nahida you mentioned, what did she say? She said, and Paimon quotes, The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people. Hmm, wait. I get the grants knowledge part. That's what people have always used the Akasha for. But compiling the entire populace's wisdom? 
How does that work? Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? Oh, yeah. That sounds about right. What do you think? My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? You mean the Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Huh. Now that I think about it, my head's been feeling unusually heavy. When the Desert Dwellers set off on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said, Knowledge always comes at a price. Compiling the entire country's knowledge. You think the Akasha pulled a 180 and is extracting information from us? Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so who's to say that it can't also poke around in there? We don't know any specifics. What's the point of doing something like that? Just think about it. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, then you can basically turn Sumeru City into a single massive brain. This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? <sighs> I love it. In that case, we should take off our Akasha terminals right away. Maybe that'll solve this problem. Yeah, I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. <sighs> Mark my words. When this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing to the public. How does everyone feel? Huh? What is it? Oh, that! Paimon knows what you're talking about! It's a single soft beep that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha terminal. The sound of a beep. Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? That's probably an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard a beep anyway. Traveler, did you hear that? I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. We took off our Akasha terminals. Phase runtime has exceeded its expected length. At this rate, there may be casualties. But we cannot lose all of our progress. <laughs> 